Hi, my friend Cami from the blog Tidbits here. I hope you love a good before and after because today I want to share with you my recent Facebook Marketplace furniture flip. It's just amazing what a cone of paint did to these three bookshelves we snagged for a still. I can't wait to show you the results and how I styled it in our living room. Okay, let's first talk about the shelving unit uh, piece that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I actually had the hardest time finding a shelving piece for this empty wall spot in our living room. I really wanted something with curves since this room tends to feel a little too boxy. Um, I waited for a long time and felt like I was ready to settle when I saw this uh, four piece shelving unit come up for a great deal. It is a modular piece and I only had room for three pieces, so we still have one piece that I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> um, but I knew it wasn't su a super ideal, cool antique piece that I had hoped to find, but I'm pleasantly surprised with how much better it looked once I painted it. I actually love it and if anything, this will allow me time, as much time as I need to keep searching for something that just really speaks to my soul and will be worth the investment. I'm also hopeful that after this makeover, I can sell it for even more than I bought it for. All right, anyway, this piece was old, but not that old. It was made with cheap 70s laminate fake wood, so I know there was no way that I could make it a pretty natural wood piece. Um, the best option really was to paint it. At this point, I reached out to one of my favorite paint companies, Pure and Original. I was delighted when they wanted to help me show off yet another one of their beautifully naturally pigmented colors. If you've been with me for a while, I used Pure and Original's Marrakesh paint on our walls to create a subtle textured concrete look with the color uh, milk white. I also used their Classico chalk paint on this really cool vintage hutch with the inside color being earth stone and the outside color I used evening shadow. Lastly, I've used their Lachetto paint for our trim and our door and it's the color um, ashes. So for this piece, I wanted to complement the grays in the room but not add to it. So I picked this perfectly balanced grayish color called Pebble Stone. It came out better than I anticipated. If you are looking for like a medium toned brown gray, I think you will love this one. It might look a little too muddy in a room without a lot of natural light, but I think it is a gorgeous color in our light filled living room. Now I wanted to make this makeover as easy as possible. So spraying it was ideal and sanding it down wasn't really an option due to the fake laminate wood covering. Um, Pure and Original recommended I use their Classico chalk paint again since it adheres so well and has such a nice smooth matte finish and you don't need a sealer or a top coat. So that is what we used. Now, I didn't actually get a ton of footage of the process, but it was so simple and straightforward. We gave it a good scrub down. We removed the doors and the hardware and sprayed on two coats of paint and that was it. And here she is painted and styled. After removing the doors, I decided I liked all three um, pieces without the doors. So we took it off um, on the one piece. The lower cabinets are perfect for storage. Um, I keep sewing supplies and other random things that we don't want to look at. And while I love the interest in perfectly styled open shel shelving with lots of goodies, I felt simplicity really called to me for this piece. And I remembered an exhibit at a children's museum we recently went to and how a single pottery piece took the entire show on each shelf. And I thought it was so pretty. So I kind of copied that look. <laughs> I went to an antique store for a few pieces um, and the thrift store for a few more. I grabbed some out of my stash. Um, some of them are actually not my favorite pottery pieces ever, but together they look pretty neat. Um, it might be something I also take my time to swap out with vessels that I feel like I will treasure for a lifetime and use for mini centerpieces and floral arrangements. Okay, revisiting my museum inspiration, I thought it would be really neat to add some under cabinet mood lighting on each shelf. 
I discovered these magnetic and rechargeable bar lights that turn on with a remote. They are the coolest things. <laughs> if the light runs dim, I just plug them in like a phone. Um, I turn them on or off with the push of a button and I can also set them on a timer if I want them to turn on or off at certain times. I think it creates a pretty cool museum effect if you ask me. Now we've been daydreaming about all the fun Christmas displays we can create in here as well. All right, I hope you have enjoyed seeing the before and after of our recent Facebook Marketplace find. I am looking for one more cool piece for our living room to hide like the shoes and bags right by our side door, but I am being super picky. <laughs> I'd love to hear something that you have found secondhand lately and perhaps fixed up. I will leave a link below to several other blog posts where I've breathed new life into old things. It's just one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> we also paint a lot of rooms, so uh, feel free to snag my complete guide to painting room linked below as well. And check out more paint and paint colors at Pure and Original. I'll connect you with a place to order a hand-painted sample card, which serves me with so much organic color inspiration. Uh, speaking of inspiration, I hope you've been inspired to go cruise through Marketplace or the thrift store or another platform for secondhand goodies and find something to make better for your home. I just might join you. <laughs> so come on back for more inspiration for do-it-yourself living. Thanks for watching.